It's I got chills, man. I can't believe this is really going to happen. It is going to happen. Get ready, world! This place is on its feet! Right when we thought it couldn't get any better. Here we go. Hier in München auf dem UFC Event. Hier steht der Brian vom UFC Team von Electronic Arts. So we just played the game and it's pretty pretty awesome. It's um, it's basically the first time you're you're full fully using the Ignite engine. Uh, pretty much, yeah. This is EA Sports UFC is the first EA Sports game that's been made exclusively for the next generation of game consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox One. So all the latest and greatest technology that we have at EA Sports, we're using it on EA Sports UFC to, to make the game what it is. Like how how actually is this injury system working? Because I, I think that was pretty interesting. Like if you basically punch someone always on the, on, on the right face side. It gets like really swollen, you know, like red and stuff like that. Yep, I mean, we basically try and mimic what would happen in real life, and that's if I hit somebody in the face with a hard, like a hard part of my body, like an elbow or a knee, there's a really high potential that that's going to cause a cut or a contusion or a bruise or swelling. Um, and we're just able to monitor, hey, what points of the body are coming in contact, and then we know what kind of damage to trigger on the, the opponent's body or face as a result of that. Uh, and then we focus a lot on the visual quality of that damage, so the blood and the swelling and the bruising looks very realistic in the game. Is it also, also affecting uh, the stamina actually? Like uh, do I hit, if I hit someone really hard, it's basically tumbling back? Uh, yeah, I mean, so every action you perform in the game will co you know, uses up your own stamina, and if you're you know, landing strikes on your opponent as well, it will hurt their stamina a little bit. But there is very much a, a, a meta game about stamina in the eSports UFC, where if your opponent has expended a lot of energy and they're low on stamina, any attacks you're doing at that moment is going to do more damage to them because they're more susceptible. They're, they don't have the energy to sort of withstand your attack. So if you land a big shot when your opponent is tired, that's where you're going to see yeah, like a big hit, big hit reaction or you'll knock them down or cause a, what we call a health event, which might be like they, you've injured their leg or you've, you know, a liver shot where their body is really hurt or they get really dizzy and wobbly. And uh, besides presentation, um, like, what is the first thing you can basically do now with next gen in terms of gameplay? Like, is there a thing that you couldn't do before? Uh, there's a lot of things, a lot, a lot of subtle things that, that we are doing uh, in EA Sports UFC with our animation and physics system. So we have a lot of sort of really fluid procedural <laughs> gameplay happening. You may have noticed when you were fighting, um, you know, if one fighter is throwing a high kick. Uh, and they're only posted on one leg at, at the time. Another fighter, if he times it correctly and, and throws something low and kicks out that base leg, just using physics um, to monitor that impact, we can you know procedurally do a sweep so you can sweep your opponent off his feet if you time a low kick at the right at the right moment. So those kinds of those kinds of moments, um, you know, and again, really complicated two-player interactions. So when we're doing takedowns or transitions on the ground, our ability to make that sort of fluid and, and look realistic uh, and keep keep both players involved in, in, in the whole time is, is much improved as, because of uh, the next generation. And you have like um, Bruce Lee in the game, which is like, you know, the legend. Yes. And so were you able to like train with him in your, in your studio? Or? No, no. I mean, Bruce Lee, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, he, he hasn't been around for a, a long time. Um, but uh, Bruce Lee Enterprises, they provided us with a lot of uh, reference. Um, to help us get uh, his, his character model correct. Um, so we use that to you know, create the, the, the fighter that you see in the game, and he, he looks fantastic. And then we had uh, motion capture actors come in to mimic his fighting style. Uh, and, uh, and then we also had a, a voice actor come in to sort of do some vocalization. So when he's in, in the octagon and throwing punches and kicks at you, it sounds like Bruce as well. Was it tough for the actors to actually do that? Because it's like... Uh is there anything really specific, specific that just probably Bruce can do? Uh, I mean, certainly, you know, we never expected that we were going to get an actor in that could, you know, move as fast as Bruce Lee or do things exactly like Bruce Lee. But I think for a lot of martial artists and a lot of, you know, sort of martial arts actors, um, a lot of them probably grew up impersonating Bruce Lee. I mean, there's, I mean, I'm not even a martial arts actor and I impersonate Bruce Lee, you know, probably three or four times a year just because you end up doing that. I mean, that's, that's what Bruce Lee is. Everybody knows who he is and everybody you know, ends up doing something one time. <laughs> so um, it's, it's not hard to find people that are well versed in impersonating or mimicking Bruce Lee in that area. 
And it's actually, if you see, it's just, uh, basically a combination of all all uh, textiles, like jujitsu and all those stuff, or is it most of jujitsu? Or uh, I mean, jujitsu is certainly uh, a very important part of, of mixed martial arts. It's it's you know. Uh, it's a martial art that really um, was very important to the beginning. You know, the very first UFC was really the introduction of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to the entire world. That's when Hoist Gracie, you know, went in that crazy tournament and beat you know much bigger men uh, that were you know, versed in all kinds of other striking. Uh, fighting styles, but now uh, in the modern day of, of, of UFC and mixed martial arts, um, you know, everybody is, is very well versed in the ground game, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai, boxing, kickboxing, um, and then there's all other kinds of little uh, of martial arts that, that sprinkle in there, whether it be sambo or capoeira or taekwondo, what have you. So um, it, it, it is a very robust catalog of different martial arts styles and, and fighting styles that make up modern day and real life. And fighters are always trying to look to different areas to find, you know, a move over here that, that could be applied and could be effective. Um, and it, but it's certainly not anymore about having, I'm, I fight in one style and that's all I do. It's, you, you need to be well versed in all areas. So I think it's probably the first UFC game our readers will play. So can you give us any, any cool tricks, any cool strategies? Um, well, like I was talking about before, a very important aspect of fighting, whether it be in our game or whether it be in real life, is to be aware of, of your stamina levels. Right? If you go right, if you go into the octagon, you just run to the center and just start throwing all the punches and kicks you can. You get very tired. You're going to be winded. You're going to be vulnerable. Your opponent's going to capitalize on that, and it's going to be a short night for you. So it's always very important to, you know, be deliberate. Think about what you're going to do. You know, attack with intent. Then take a break, recover your energy, and make sure that every attack you're doing is, you know, is, is going to do maximum effect, as opposed to just standing in front of each other and just swinging into something. That that can be fun. Don't get me wrong, but ultimately it's going to be just a roll of the dice, a crapshoot, like who's going to land a shot first, and then and you know, end end the night. Which can be again fun, but if you really want to have success, uh, be deliberate, think about what you're doing, manage your stamina, don't get too tired, and capitalize on your opponent if they get over aggressive.